Hi, my name is Gary Davies and I'm head of KDB at AquaQ Analytics. I've held this position for now around about 20 months, um, joining after spending about 10 years working in KDB in the financial services industry. Within AquaQ, my role covers a number of different areas. So first off, I am a developer uh, and a tech lead within a large hedge fund. And that's where I spend most of my day-to-day -day work, working on development of new products, new analytics, new processes and different architecture pieces from a KDB standpoint. Alongside that, then, I'm also a line manager within AquaQ. So I look after a number of people across a variety of different clients, including my hedge fund. And I spend time with them uh, checking in, making sure everything is going OK. And I'll meet with them on a regular basis to make sure that um, they have a sense of direction of, of where they're going in terms of their own personal development as well. The third hat that I wear then is kind of leading up and uh, looking after technical projects that can be either proof of concepts or they can be internal projects. Proof of concept is kind of something that we can do internally within AquaQ or also for clients as well. So and if it's internally, it's probably us testing out some new technologies or trying something different. And um, from my perspective, usually with some sort of KDB slant on it. If it's for a client, it's probably trialing something out that they haven't um, done yet. And we'll be looking to see, you know, if there's a prospective project to come off the back of that. Internal projects then are slightly different. They're something that we already know that conceptually works, but we're looking to try and do something. So that could be like developing a new aspect for Torque. So you know, the data quality engine was something that I've been involved in, or it could be uh, you know creating something new. So an, an example actually of one going from proof of concept to actually becoming a product for us or an internal project um, is the BigQuery interface. So if anyone's caught the blog on that, um, that's rather an interesting one too. So right now I actually have two projects on the go. One is an internal project um, and then I have a proof of concept that I'm looking after as well that's actually on, on a client site. So that's what I'm kind of doing on a day-to-day -day basis but the purpose of this video is going to be a little look through my day. So we're going to start from this morning and I'm going to take little video shots as I go through my day with the, the different pieces that I have to do. So this morning I, I'm on around now about 8.30 and um, I'm checking my emails for my client um, to see if anything has happened overnight or if there's any new actions that need to be um, delivered on and getting set up there. I'm also preparing and um, that's why I'm in a little bit earlier because we have a meeting at nine o'clock with a prospective new client um, it's one of many meetings we were holding with them where uh, the business development team and also um, technical leads within AquaQ, we will meet with a client and we'll discuss um, you know, anything from prospective projects through to prospective technologies and try and um, uncover where there are potential opportunities um, for AquaQ and the client to engage. So I'll be doing that and then I'll be going back to do development um, on my client and we'll catch up once I've got back to that once the next next meeting comes through. Uh, I'll just actually flag the development work that I'm working on at the minute. We're looking at um, making uh, new data readily available for the client and making it, you know, so taking it from data capture through to data visualization through KDB. Okay, so the time's now approaching 11 o'clock. Successful morning um, in terms of uh, meeting with the potential client and then obviously the development that I plan to do this morning. So right now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to take a training session for the new group that just joined last Monday into AquaQ Analytics. So there are seven of them um, and we're going to do a session. It's part of three, a quick session on trading fundamentals. So they're going to learn about the different asset classes at a high level and how trading works and then obviously how development and project projects fit into that. So over the course of the next three weeks, I'll be taking them for that. But we're going to start off today with the first session with them. Um, following on from that, then um, I'll be going back to do a bit more on, on the development for my client. Um, and then we'll probably have a spot of lunch, of course, as well and go out and get some fresh air. Um, and I'll catch you guys after lunch. OK, so the time is now actually approaching two o'clock. Um, so we've had lunch, um, successful training session with the guys and a bit more development. Um, it's two o'clock now, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm about to do stand up with uh, my client. So we'll get on with the, the teams there and all the ones from AquaQ and we'll discuss what's happened um, so far today and what we're planning to do for the remainder of the day uh, as part of the team. 
Uh, following on for that, straight back into development work again, um, and I'll catch you guys in an so hour. I'm in with you guys a, a little early. Um, it's three o'clock. I had planned to be a little later, but I'm realizing it's actually Friday, and we're about to jump on to AquaQ's stand up, and that's AquaQ's global stand up. So everybody um, within AquaQ, all the AquaQ employees, join at this time, um, and we'll join on Teams, so you get to see everybody live on video on a, a nice large gallery. And um, AquaQ stand up every week is presented by our resident host. Um, and Paul Doherty, who's bringing the comedy and the updates in terms of you know business development, the expansion, recruitment, and um, project successes. You know who the above and beyond winners are. Uh, above and beyond is um, people that are receiving rewards for the um, the things that they've done that are above and beyond um, expectations. Um, and we'll get an update from management as well. Um, and there's usually a bit of uh, fun on that as well, whatever Paul's bringing in for the week. Following on that, back into development, and I'll catch you guys uh, a little later. You're now at a quarter past four, so stand-up's finished. They've done a little bit more development work, and I'm now into my um, next meeting. I'm going to be catching up with my internal um, project team to check how they're getting on. It'll just be a quick five-minute meeting um, to make sure that all's um, going well, because they've got a live demo to do next week. And following that, I'm going to be checking in with my proof of concept team, and they're actually going to be delivering a live demo now um, to myself and a few of the management team to um, demonstrate how far they've got and um, look as we start to close out the project. So pretty exciting um, time to be seeing you know, how that's uh, how that's going along. Once that's done, then it's back to development and I'll continue developing then uh, until the end of day um, with the client um, and, and see where I get with that. We're actually doing a slightly different project than what I started on this morning. So this time we're actually looking at a bit of a new architecture um, some uh, performance related um, improvements that need to be made uh, needs to be made so um, it's actually pretty exciting new stuff to be to be dealing with so yeah I, I guess you've got to see the kind of dynamic nature that my day has um, within my role and you know within AquaQ obviously we've we're, we've got big expansion going on at the minute so there's so many opportunities new projects new clients in you know internally and with clients that um, that people can get involved in and it's a really exciting time to be to be joining AquaQ you know um, as I said at the start of this video I've been in AquaQ 20 months and there's a reason why I've come to AquaQ and um, because of the exciting prospects are the, that are within it and I would kind of relay like a piece of advice for people you know coming out or trying to start their career for me it's always about continuing to learn and that's the key thing that you know I find um, exciting at AquaQ is the you know keeping to uh, learning new things every day is completely different you know I've picked up a number of new technologies and um, I've experienced new things that I hadn't before around KDB um, and it's just been an all-round um, exciting and learning time um, for me uh, over the last 20 months and I'll continue um, to keep pushing while there's continued to be things to learn which should be forever at this point so thanks very much for listening in um, and hopefully if you're interested now you can jump on and apply thank you